Traveling throughout the verse is not without its dangers and risks, and Stanton is no exception. Be it the threat of pirate related violence, the extreme elements of desolate moons, forgetting that you put your ship on auto forward, and so the mortality rate within this humble little solar system is quite high, and with so many souls lost to the void, the need for closure, and a definitive answer as to their fates is desired by many, and with that need comes the opportunity for profit. Citizens, my name's Beard of Oz, and today we'll be looking at the investigation missions, what's involved, and how you can turn an often ignored game loop into a tidy little moneymaker. Let's dive in. Located in your Contracts tab on the Moby Glass, investigation missions are essentially the confirmation of dead NPCs about Stanton. Whether just one individual or a number of crewmates, these missions will have you travel to a last known location, whether it be a cave or the wreckage of a crashed or broken apart vessel, usually a cargo hauler of some description, and locate the subject or subjects of that mission. Additionally, some employers may have you collect an item or items from these locations and deliver someplace else, but more on that later. While these missions don't require as much in terms of arms and armor, the more you have prepared, the wider a range of these missions you'll be able to field and complete, so a little forward planning will make the process easier. First and foremost, your ship. While simply being able to travel to these locations is key, having a vessel with a little more functionality can really pay off. If you have a vehicle with cabin space for looted crates, you'll be able to take on a wider range of these missions. I'm partial to the cutlass myself with the side doors allowing me to track the boxes in with little fuss, and the gun rack allows for a little variety should you need to get violent. For your personal gear, an EVA suit and helmet are a must, and additional armor and a backpack mean you'll be able to field more ammunition and loot should you have the need. I will recommend, however, an extreme weather environmental suit such as the Novikov for lower temperatures or the Pembroke for higher will give you more time amongst the wreckage on any extreme planet or moon. While you may not encounter pirates on foot at every one of these sites, carrying personal protection is advised as it is better to have and not need than to need and not have. Medical syringes are a must, so stock up, and last but not least, a grey cat multi-tool with tractor beam attachment, and heck, if you like mining, bring that attachment too. Before you head out, do me a favour and hit that like button, and subscribe too just in case you get lost in a cave or something, and we never see you again and have to send someone out to find you, but if you do make it back, be sure to check out my Twitch channel where I stream this game and others. Within the investigation missions, there are two main categories, derelict and cave. Let's get the cave out of the way. As it stands, the cave missions are pretty clear cut and very rarely worth the time and effort. For 4,000 credits, that's right, 4,000, your employer would have you find the remains of a missing individual, last known location, you guessed it, a cave. You'll be given the cave marker to guide you. Some caves will be large enough to enter only on foot, others by vehicle. Descend into the cave and search for the target's body. Sometimes it's easy to find. Most of the time, it's not. This is where that multi-tool with mining attachment comes in handy because that's the only way you'll be coming away with any sort of real money on this mission. Then there's the wreck sites. These range from terrestrial to orbital, taking the form of one of a few types of cargo hauler style ships, from freelancers all the way to caterpillars. In association with these crashes, you'll find three separate missions commonly available via the investigation section of the general missions tab in the Moby Glass contracts. The first and best in my opinion is to find a single crew member for a payment of 18,000 credits. The next is to find the entirety of the crew for 10,000 credits. This will be broken down into smaller amounts that will be paid as you locate each crew member, with the final member being located, rounding out the total and often giving you a small bonus. The last and my least favourite of the three is to locate and deliver the downed vessel's black box for a total of 9,000 credits, often requiring you to deliver to the region's planet, or in the case of Crusader, Port Olisar. Unless I'm in Crusader, I won't even bother with this one, as 9k isn't worth the time it takes to deliver this. If the Star Citizen gods are kind, you'll find both the 18k and 10k mission available at the same time for a tidy sum of 28k for one wreck. 
There are also variants to these missions in the personal tab, flavoured in a criminal manner, but for the most part they are the same thing. Find gang member X, confirm they're dead. They do however have a stash theft mission where you'll go to the associated wreck, liberate three packages and deliver them to a location for a 12k plus bonuses. And an honourable mention goes to the PI wanted mission in the Crusader region, an older mission but one with actual voice acting to give the feel of an actual mission with an actual story. It's not going to bring in large sums of credits, but if you haven't done this one yet, I highly recommend it, even if to know what Star Citizen could have more of but chose to leave at one. But are they worth doing? At the current point of development, these missions are essentially untethered to the greater universe in that they aren't actually associated with any faction affinity, meaning completing them will offer no reputation benefit, but that also means failing or abandoning them has no negative effect either. And while they may not offer impressive monetary gains, they are a nice atmospheric experience that a citizen might have a new player tag along with to get their feet wet. Not to mention, more often than not, if there are two missions in your investigations tab, you can almost always guarantee they are for the same shipwreck. Not to mention, some of the caterpillars in these missions can offer interesting collectibles. And so all in all I'd say, when you first wake up in a station or your ship's bunk and find yourself wondering what you should do today, Picking up an investigation mission is a good way to give yourself a destination, get that money ball rolling, and hey, who knows, maybe enjoy the beauty of a desolate moon for a screenshot or two. And there you have it. While definitely not a big money maker, maybe just what each citizen needs every now and then to break up the monotony of the big money game loops. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It lets YouTube know this is the kind of content citizens might like to see. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and do that to help the channel grow. Be sure to check out one of my other videos here. And as always, citizens stay safe in the verse, and I will see you all next time.